probably helps to power it on, doesn't it? Yeah. What's it gonna do differently for any of these? Espresso is just more concentrated? Um, yeah, espresso is just be straight, hard, or concentrated. Uh, Americana. Oh, I need to pour hot water in there? No, no, do Americana, don't pour hot water in there. Oh, okay. But I do the grind first, right? Overflowing. So then I take this nifty little doohickey, take this out, try to kind of get that all in there. Press her down, do a little twist, put that back. Now then, ah, uh, that's right, this is my fill. Now that I put it in at an angle. Just to lock it. How do I know that it's locked? I was afraid I'd done something wrong and was going too far. Okay. All right, so this, this cup is not gonna work. That one's not gonna work. This one. But wait a minute. Is it gonna overflow? No. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Although it can't fit under there, that's the problem. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try the white mug. I'm gonna try to get the perfect. It's gonna be great. So then just press brew. Oh man. Here we go. We'll see if it overflows. As in, doesn't make it in the cup to begin with. Oops. Ooh, yes. Perfect. Oh, nope. Oh, oh, got a little dribble there. All right. That has prostate problems. This is totally possible. This is my first time ever doing this. I always use a normal coffee maker or a Keurig. It works. Come on now, come on. Perfect. Uh, not much room left in the mug though. Oh, stop. Stop. Yes. It worked.